Hi guys, Traffic187 here, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about Optifine. Now Optifine is a nice modded uh, add-on to Minecraft. Now the reason why you'd use it is to exactly what you can see on the screen in front of us. FPS boot, it supports HD textures, um, there is loads of configurable settings all the way through which makes it unbelievably good for even the top end PCs where you want to tweak it a little bit more, have um, a little bit faster, less lag spikes and smooth um, basically. You can make it work really, really well. Now I use Optifine in conjunction with Magic Launcher. Now Magic Launcher can be downloaded from minecraftforums.net. Uh you can sorry, Minecraft yeah, Minecraftforums.net. Now uh Optifine has their own website, as you can see, Optifine uh .net. Uh, downloads uh, you click on downloads and you'll get this link and you've got two sites so you've got two versions already um, I've got yesterday's version um, sorry not yesterday's version the first version and uh, a couple of people are using the second version now this is 1.7.2 and I know we're on 1.7.4 at the moment with most servers but if you're on one, if you roll back to 1.7.2, it'll work absolutely fine on most servers. I haven't come across a server that it won't work on, so it's worth the while rolling back if you find yourself laggy or you know, bits and pieces. Now the downside, um, there are a few issues with Optifine. It's not 100% at the moment, um, mostly with transglutin. Um, blocks and textures and so forth for glass and so forth but uh, you'll find it outweighs the pros outweighs the cons and I'm sure the great guys at Optifine will actually get there shortly now um, obviously use their links don't download from anywhere else um, you can download from Minecraft forums um, as well because Optifine links to there um, watch the little advert Give them uh, the money they d deserve. Um, don't uh, use ad blockers or anything like that because these guys really, really, really use it and do donate, uh, donate pages up there. Now, um, Magic Launcher is a separate um, mod. Uh, sorry, separate launcher. Um, now, the great thing about Magic Launcher is that Minecraft, um, as default, will be given too much RAM. Now, um, it'll be given about one gig's worth of RAM. Now Minecraft itself only needs about 350 megabytes to run so basically if you've got a lower machine or a, a slower machine and you're using other things like recording programs or anything else on there um, your hard drive will start doing a memory swapping which is not good for you and not good for uh, your machine because it will make it lag so this, this will decrease your lag as well. The great thing about Magic Launcher is is recommended for Optifine so instead of going in and uh, placing it straight into your Java file Optifine straight into your Java file use the Magic Launcher um, there are others, uh, other options uh, other launchers available but I use Magic Launcher and find it no problem at all so use Magic Launcher um, download it and it will just work like the same Minecraft icon now what you can do if you scroll down I believe they are uh, fixing common problems um, there we are uh, yeah so if you have any bugs or so forth there are fixing pr common problems there uh, selectable yeah okay um, yeah uh, when you boot up um, Minecraft launcher which I'll show you shortly um, you have a option to switch between uh, different Minecraft versions on your machine and um, the option also to uh, switch how much RAM and I'm going to show you how to do that shortly. But first I'll just go over to Optifine. Now uh, Optifine as I said is on Minecraft forums so you can download directly from their page on Minecraft forums. I would not recommend downloading for any other source. Um, I wouldn't recommend it at all. Um, so there we are. Oh, here we are. Um, they list the uh, bad news. So, da -da -da -da, anyway, translucent glass, etc. So, these are the stuff that's needed left. So, 
Analyze, optimize, bug fixes, transfer. So this, this is this is all like really small stuff. So um, you get not worried about that at all. Now, if you've got like a, a medium machine, you can get up to its stream and still have really good, really good uh, frame rate and so forth. So that means you can go into PvP battles, run across the map really fast. You're not waiting for blocks to load. You're not waiting for bits and pieces. So all these new Hunger Games with the snow that sweeps in that makes you lag, it's not going to do that anymore. So this is this will fix your problem basically. Now if you scroll down on this one, yeah, it has options. It tells you about all little bits and pieces. Scroll down the page, tips and tricks. Look, Java 7 is a major importance. Make sure you're uh, running uh, the good build, as it were. Now, I know a little trick as well. If you've got Windows um, 7 and it's 64-bit, not 32-bit, most browsers that you download will download at 32-bit. Um, unless you select it otherwise and then the Java will select from what browser you're using at the present time which you end up with the lower version of Java and I find that my Minecraft runs better on 64-bit um, on Java's website you can go to the download options and move away from the recommended where it, um, it pushes you towards pick your own version and download it I haven't had any bug problems, it works absolutely fine um, for my browser. As you can see, this um, is Firefox, but I also use Google Chrome, and both of them work absolutely fine with it. Um, yeah, uh, in the, oh, there you go, in the, so I said 360, did I, or 350. Anyway, in the memory field, recommendation. 350. Now I've not done that yet because I've only just downloaded uh, Magic uh, Launcher so uh, this gives us the opportunity to show you now. Now if you're not sure about um, how to install Optifine it's very simple I'll show you with Magic Launcher. The manual way of installing Optifine I'm not going to cover because I don't think you should do it. I think you should go for the Magic Launcher because it'll be much more better. Uh, Magic Launcher helps you with other mods as well if you want to add any other mods on. So hold on for me and we'll take a look at it now. Okay, so this is Magic Launcher. So when you download Magic Launcher, it'll come in a, a um, zip file or you can download the EXE one and just drag it straight onto your desktop. Use it just like the Minecraft icon, double click and away you go. Now, this is what you are pre presented with. You will need to put in your username. Now, if you've migrated your account, that'll be your email address and obviously passwords can be saved as normal. If you've already done this with the Minecraft icon, it normally migrates across so you won't need to fill any of that in. Now if I hit the hit the um, uh, setup, it will load into this screen here. Now I've had lots of other mods on before with my previous versions. Now to change the Java, you'll see it up here. You've got an option to select and you can just choose which type of um, version that you want. You should have a selectable version actually. Oh sorry, oh yeah, it's right there. So I've got 1.7.4, I've got Notice on there. Now Notice is a very good tool. Um, I know a lot of you guys think it's just a hacking tool, but I actually use it um, as part of the world edit on the server I look at um, and look after as well. Um, I find it much more easier. You can make natural um, look in uh, ravines and so forth uh, if you want to add something into a build that you're creating so that's why I use it so I dropped it down to 1.7.2 and basically click that and then um, that's it it's ready to go uh, then select if I remember rightly and it will load it now uh, you'll need to obtain now this is the old six point uh, 1.6.4 and 1.6.2. Now, the re reason why I'm hanging on to these because I've got a couple of maps that I haven't converted over yet. Um, the roller coaster maps, basically. So 1.6.2 was uh, the Night Rider one. 1.6.4 was the um, Doctor Who one. Uh, and I used single player commands with the Doctor Who one because obviously there was a lot of things. To move around and change in that and I had to shift a few things so um, so click on your downloads 
and you'll get a whole list of no you won't you'll go straight to the Minecraft forums obviously uh, because <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong button uh, click on add even and it will take you to your downloaded files and you can add in whatever you want your bits and pieces from there and close anyone interested in what I'm downloading trailer music virtual audio cable uh, Angel Garden and all stuff <laughs> lots of bits and pieces in there <laughs> bit of music um, yeah so <clears throat> just add that in and it will come here and basically toggle on now if you've done it correctly up here with the environment then you'll get an OK here if you've done it incorrectly like for instance that it will say not compatible so um, drop it down to 1.7.2 and away you go. Now I'm sure Optifine will have it updated very very quickly now. They've had to write something like 500 lines of code um, to get this version up and running so these guys really deserve a round of applause. You've got to remember they're doing it all for free this is not their main job um, so very much respect basically lots of respect for them so that's that so that's that's in now so uh, just click OK OK so we're back in the settings uh, for uh, magic launcher um, and we go to advance now in advance what we have here at the moment mine is using basically loads of memory which I don't need to use so 350 oh no that's 250 350 and that is it that's all we need to do and okay and that is enough to run everything you may need to add some more as you add mo different mods and so forth look at their requirements as you add it on but as magic launcher says it's it's all that's all it's needed that is all that's needed so all that extra RAM that you've got can now be dedicated to your recorder um, let's do a little test so I walk towards the tree record in non uh, optifine and then record in optifine so this is the tree as it were oh yeah Haha, <laughs> Creeper, you don't explode with me. Okay, so this is my tree, and this is non optifine, so we'll go up. We'll see how well this loads. So as you can see, it's a pretty big ass tree and it's still got problems loading. So this is, we're recording with normal Minecraft and we'll go back to the point we came from. I'll log out and then I'll log back in with Optivine and see if we can see a difference. Uh, what was the FPS? Didn't check the FPS. So we're at 16 at uh, lowest. Not too bad, staying quite stable. It feels, yeah, it feels a bit, as you can see with the swing, it feels a bit glitchy. If that's the word, glitchy? Glitch, glitchy. Yeah, I guess. All right, be right back with another version. Okay, we're back with um, Optivine version now. I'll just start running straight towards the tree. FPS is looking around about the same, but I think the environment is looking a little bit better handled, as it were. All that hadn't loaded last time at the uh, bottom of the tree. We had to start walking towards it, so. Set for fly. 
so it looks like we're staying above 20 frames which is nice I haven't seen it spike down to the, if I can give it oh, 19 if I can give it a little bit of harshness 18 19 15 but then we're coming back up again I think it's loaded much better this time than it did last time but you be the judge you can see it from the video yourself I didn't fly over that bit jagged half of the tree but the environment around the area is staying very well lit up properly if we can get this bit to load come on little chunky there we go okay, still not the whole tree but there we are so you decide really um, it's feeling much more smoother than it did with um, just normal environment that feels as you can see feels much more smoother may yeah definitely looks then feels smoother yeah so there you are so uh, if you have any questions or comments please put it in the uh, comment section below or there is a other method in the description of how to contact me Take it easy, be good to yourself, bye!